G'day, cheers everyone. How you doing? Sonia Bernard here, Linked by Ink, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. So I'm just going to give it a second, see if anyone jumps on here. And welcome to your free card class. Today we're featuring Mediterranean Blooms. I was making sure I got my microphone plugged in, I do. Yay! Let me just go ahead and put this up here so I can see if anyone does get on I can maybe see okay so today's class is going to be using it's called the Mediterranean Bloom Suite but the stamp set itself is called Citrus Blooms and believe it or not we're actually not using the two big stamps here whoops um, because it's got some amazing designer series paper we're going to use today so let me give you a sneak peek of the cards that we're going to use. Oh, I just realized this is upside down. Um, now today I can't shut my doors because I am rearranging my whole craft space. So we've got this big desk here that I need to move downstairs. So if you hear barking or anything else, I apologize now. But we are going to get, um, we're going to show you the cards that we're going to make today. So this is one. And then I've done the insides. I was just making these yesterday and I thought, you know what? So often we just make these cards and just leave the inside with not a lot in here. And um, this is actually a gift card holder here. And then we've got this one. Now you see this is like DSP. So this one's Fussy Cut. And then if I was going to redo this one, I would probably put a little bit of this band in there as well. Just to try to pull some more of that front to the inside. And this one's actually a die cut from the, um, from, so that one, from the paper, the Mediterranean Blooms paper. It's so pretty. If you haven't got it, you're going to want it. <laughs> it's just so, so pretty. Okay, so we'll get started with that. I'm going to show you, so my free with purchase class, sorry, my hair is just doing its crazy thing today. It is where you can watch this class absolutely free. There's no charge. I'm going to give you all the measurements. I'm going to tell you everything that I'm using. And um, you're going to know exactly how to make these cards. Now, if you want a kit of these cards um, sent to you, so a kit would be kind of like, you know, all the bits and bobs in there, but no stamped images. I just did that in case I make a boo-boo. I'd have a nice one ready to go. <laughs> so no stamped images well you can get that absolutely free when you shop with me and you use this host code right here zz reminded me immediately my mind went zz top because i'm old <laughs> xxmnjq so if you use that host code between now and next tuesday i didn't write the date down i gotta figure out what is next tuesday's date we'll figure that out in a minute um then you get this, when you make a $35 purchase or more, you're going to get this kit free in the mail shipped to you. If your purchase goes to um, $50, and this is before shipping and tax, I'm also going to send you a pack of the iridescent um, foil gems. Now, this is not the one that's in the catalog with, if you go look at the suite, these gems are actually there. But these gems are sold out till July. And so I've used these and these work just fine. So, um, yeah, so that's how you can get this kit absolutely free. Just use that host code. Okay, I'm going to turn this down so I can start seeing my hair is crazy today. Anyone ever just wake up and have crazy hair days? Let me switch this. Okay. Okay, let's give that a second takes about 20 seconds for the video and audio to catch up with itself so don't forget we've got that starter kit special that is a great way to save on everything stamping up and to get all this absolutely free it's an $82 value you pay $99 you get $125 worth of product free shipping and all of this and a lot of people are like oh well how much do I have to sell do I have to have a party you don't. Um, you can literally just take it and never do anything again. But once you do um, 
take that starter kit, you get 20% off all your future purchases. It's a great deal. It's a great way to add to your collection. The last you get to be in our crafting community, um, I don't like to call it a team because we are, we're, we're more of a community than a team. Um, now, I have, I have people who do business and then I, most of my people, we're here for the fun, we're here for the creativity and the savings. So in, in my community, I do what you want to do. So I support you the way you want to be supported. Okay, you also get my free PDF tutorials. Now with this, when you place that um, purchase of $35 or more using that host code, you're also going to get a free PDF tutorial um, mailed to you that is going to have everything that I've used. It's going to have the whole list and full instructions. Okay, I lost a piece of scrap paper, we'll just use this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our boho blue, and it is um, eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. And then we're going to get our boho blue ink. I'm only using three inks with this whole kit the boho blue, the knight of navy, and the daffodil delight. So I tried to keep the um, amount of inks down to a minimum. Now, if you don't have those, you know you can always simply use um, a, a memento. Or with this, if you didn't have boho blue, grab a Versamark ink. If you have Versamark, and that will give you a nice little um, pattern on here as well. So we're just going to grab this stamp and stamp randomly. Normally I'd have scrap paper. This is actually cardstock. <laughs> but I couldn't find I'm like in the middle of spring cleaning and stuff is everywhere it's insane so just gonna do just random a lot of this stuff in the middle is going to be covered up so it's okay if you make any boo-boos or anything and just stamp that over here and i do want to stamp this edging so I'll just put that there like that and it doesn't have to, like I said, a lot's going to get covered up, so it doesn't have to be exact. You could make it less than I've done here, more than I've done here. You could fill the whole thing in. Whatever you're in the mood for. And you don't even have to do it like me. A lot of, like when I'm doing a class, an in-person class, people are like, well, can I do this? I'm like, yes, do what, you know, whatever you feel at the moment. Because... I love seeing the creativity of others just grow like that. It's fantastic. Okay, the Citrus Blooms comes with all those stamps. It also comes with these amazing dies. And this is actually three dies here. Love it, right? So the first thing I've done is grabbed these two and you run them through together. I did use a little, I used post-it tape to keep them kind of together when you're running it through your um, stamp and cut and boss machine and I've done that in basic white card stock which is this one here then I took the center piece I changed this I did case this one if it looks familiar from the um, the catalog but I did change it a little bit and when you look at them you'll see there's there is a little bit of difference and this was one of the changes. I did the center in Daffodil Delight right there. Because I just preferred, <laughs> I, I was like, hmm, this is how I feel it should look. And that's what I mean by when you're changing it, you just change it to how you want it. Okay. So we'll just quickly glue this down. Whoops. Just throw it down. I just kind of ran my glue along the edge just a little bit. Goodness, a little shaky today. It's got a lot going on. Hey, Chris. Hey, Virginia. Hey, Tammy. Hope you're all doing well. If you've used this Mediterranean Bloom Suite, let me know. Or if you've seen it, what you think about it. I've seen so many different cards. Like I said, we haven't even used the stamps yet. 
so I'm using the um, I'm using all the other stamps but the two big ones I wanted to showcase the DSP but if you didn't want the DSP you could just use the stamp set too for these cards and then we're going to take our yellow centerpiece again I just put bits of glue put it mostly in the middle because that's going to get covered up there the thing to remember here is which way does this go oh that that was perfect because upside down it won't fit so just make sure you've got that going the right way when you go to adhere that and I do keep you can like even turn some of these up if you want and um, bend it a little bit to make it more 3d so you can do that okay then I have got my linen thread and I think I use 25 inches and I'm going to start that about in the middle wrap it around I'll try to make it tight here I guess I could just glue it down with um with a mini glue dot don't have to tie a bow which I was just going to do <laughs> just tie a knot trying to keep it tight there it's coming me and linen thread lately there we go now I am going to trim the ends of that because we're going to layer stuff on top of here there we go now I've got a little piece of designer series paper apparently I didn't cut this other one oh, I forgot a bit no here it is okay so I've got two of these these are um, a one inch by let me see I've got this written down you know what sometimes it's just quicker to get the ruler basic white oh this is one by four inch sorry so I did do two of them I also did do two of these because we're decorating the inside in a minute so here I just use dimensionals the rest of this comes together rather quickly it's not a hard card to make and like I said all the pieces are already cut for you so it's just popping it all together doing a touch of stamping now we've got a little circle and this is from the stylish shapes circles and I believe it's my third largest so if you use the stylish shapes dies it's the third largest die and then we're going to get Knight of Navy and our little hello stamp and just stamp that there and I put it about just above halfway not all the way to the top oh I had a second one set up in case I made a boo-boo and Oh, Christina said she hasn't used it yet, but thinks it's gorgeous paper. It really is. Um, it's so pretty. And then you're going to want to put the dimensionals going across. You don't want top and bottom because they're going to go over there. And then they're kind of going to be like stuck down. So put one on either side right there. And it's, it's like fruit. You're like, what am I going to do with fruit? But you see it's so much more than just fruit so this is a lemon lolly strip and it is two and a half inches long by three-eighths of an inch so it's it's small and it says just checking in which I think is really cute hello just checking in and we're gonna stamp that again in the night of Navy see a little crooked that's why because it's everything's in front of me that's why I made an extra one <laughs> and then this we're just gonna put a little bit of glue right here in the middle and pop that right there and you could leave it at that like and leave it like that that looks really cute but we did add in these little stars here too and they are actually a little die from here those are these little flower dies here okay 
and that is in Knight of Navy. So, and they're so small. <laughs> That's the hardest thing with this, is they're teeny. And I'm kind of bending the edges up and then just putting a teeny little dollop of glue. You don't need a lot. Let's stick that down. These ones are even tinier. <laughs> so it's hard. It makes you feel like you have massive hands when you're playing with something this tiny. And you can just put them. We're going to do a group of six. Sometimes it's easier just to press your finger on them to pick them up. Getting those little edges bent up. It's a little tedious, but I always feel like I'm like I have to go fast, but I really don't, do I? Okay, there. Technically, we have all day. <laughs> Not that I you want to sit here and watch me do this all day, but um, here we go. So it is just a little tedious here, but I think it's cute. And then you can. Actually, we're using, still bending them. Oh, these little ones. So I was, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, like if you wanted to make a bunch of these, I would not add these littles here because this is just going to add so much more time onto you, um, your crafting. And I wouldn't do the inside. I would just do what we had. And then we're going to get the iridescent gems. And I just took the smaller ones and put them in the larger um, little flowers or stars or flower stars. Whoops, just picked up two. I should be using my take your pick tool, but sometimes I just use my nail. And that's done like that. So you get everything shown in your kit. That's just the, the front. Now we're going to do the inside. <laughs> so you get all these bits, okay? And this one, again, I just put some glue. Just a little. Now, if you have our um, adhesive sheets, I would definitely use those for this. Adhesive sheets are fantastic for these intricate dies. Get over there. Okay, now when you get your kit, all the bits might not be popped out, but you can just, they will be die cut, but you might have to go through and just pop out some of the bits. And then we're using, again, we're just kind of mimicking the front there. And this one, I glued this down. I'm just going to glue that. And again, that's that one by four inch DSP. And then I wanted it to kind of come from the the sentiment i wanted it to hello just checking in grateful for you okay just so you know why are you just checking in you know what because i'm just grateful for you and have you in my life but that sentiment was not obviously in citrus blooms there was nothing that kind of went with that so i used the grateful for you you, you can use anything that you have that makes sense you don't even have to use the Hello, just checking in. You can use whatever you want there. That's the beauty of these kits. You just add your sentiment to whatever you need. That went a little bit further down than I would want, but that's okay. And more dimensional. So it, it is taking longer for us to do these cards because there's two sides now. So it's almost like we're doing eight cards, but we're not. We're doing four. And then I've got a piece that is for this um, basic white card stock is five and a quarter by three. And this is five and a quarter by one. So I've made him the same height as what's on the card. And we'll just pop that down. And then the inside. Now you could cut a whole five and a quarter by four piece and just layer it in there and then put that DSP on top as well. But why waste cardstock if you don't have to? There we go. 
and that is card number one okay moving on card number two where'd my cards go <laughs> here they are now this one i'm going to give my daughter a little bit of credit here because I was showing her the card and I got all the way up to not this part, just this one flap of paper not being here. And she, she goes, oh, you should put like a photo in here or, or a um, gift card holder. I was like, perfect. So uh, I love her idea of actually of putting a photo in here as well. Um, like if you're sending this, you're the best um, kind of person. You could actually put a photo of you and your friend in here and send that to them. I think that would be really cute. So, thanks, Jasmine. <laughs> now, I didn't have time to go printing photos, and that is why we have um, a, a gift card instead. Okay, so this one is Daffodil Delight. I don't know what I've done to the edge there. And I started out with a, um, a, a four and a quarter by 11. Then I've scored it at five and a half, but then I also cut off two and a half inches. So, that is two and a half inches cut off of that side hey Tara how you doing and then we have a five and a quarter by four sheet of DSP and that's just going to fit right in here and that's what just to give you an idea of the the patterns on here there's one side's a you know blues and the other side's a citrusy and you just layer that right there easy peasy lemon squeezy we can use that today and then we have two little bits but all the bits oh no did I forget to cut the piece for here <laughs> oh no I didn't I was like what have I done no it's okay I got it okay so we've got two bits of DSP here too and we're tying this together okay so let me get you measurements. This little um, piece right here, this is five and a quarter by a half inch, and this is four inches by two and a quarter inches. And then we've got, since I'm here, two pieces of basic white cardstock, and they have four and three quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. Okay, so. And then our piece of DSP that we're adding in, that is, I remember it's four and three quarter inches by three inches, I believe. That might be wrong on that one. Let me get you that. Okie dokie. So now we're just going to glue these down. I think I'll start with the larger piece this time. And we'll just leave a little edge on here. Okay. And this one. Okay, next we're going to take one of our pieces of white card stock and we're going to put our sentiment on here. And you're going to want to stamp all the way to the right. Um, and this card was designed specifically to fit that sentiment on there so if you're purchasing the kit and or you're getting the kit for free you're making a purchase and you get this kit for free just make sure before you stamp um, that it's going to fit in that area because the rest is going to be glued okay so I just did it about center this is in um, Knight of Navy and just put it there to the right I love that sentiment and there were several friends I thought of when I was making this card you guys know who you are <laughs> so they hate when people say that okay so here on this side I'm actually gonna glue it this way looking down because I can center it quite easily and I want it a little bit away from the middle line as well and then I'm gonna kind of grab my thumb and go okay it's about here now the glue goes on the front okay it's gonna go in the front oh Tara said she ordered this in her kit so she is super excited yay Tara Tara took advantage of the starter kit special and came and joined our crafting community 
because she knows a good deal when she sees one. That's a, such an amazing deal. You got a great deal. I wish I got that when I signed up. I signed up like 12 years ago and it was not during a special. They didn't have as many back then as they have now. Now they only have like really a couple of years. So great time to take advantage of that. Okay. So that was all done like this. And then I took this ribbon, which is called, what is it called? I'm still learning the new stuff. I think this is called Iridescent Striped Trim. And I'm tying it the wrong way. I'm wrapping it around here and just really putting it over the um, seam there. I love this trim. It's so pretty. Gives me Bridgerton vibes. Who's watching Bridgerton? Do we have any Bridgerton lovers in here? We have to wait till June, but it's almost June. Good grief. I can't believe it's almost, you know, halfway through the year. Well, not quite, but close to being halfway through the year. Okay, we'll just trim that ribbon. Alrighty. Then we're going to make our inside piece right here. So put, have your ribbon where you want it. And we're going to get our small piece, which I'm going to measure real quick for you. Because I can't remember. I, didn't, I don't think I wrote it down. It is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I am using one item that is um, retired. But you can get a one inch circle punch anywhere. So maybe one day we'll bring them back. I just go about halfway down to cut a notch out like that for our card. Then I've used our um, tearing tape, which is here. Now on the bottom, I used two of these because I don't want the card interfering with this ribbon. I want that ribbon not to be an issue. So as soon as I find the edge of this, I just put tearing tape on the bottom. I love how easy it tears too. And this should fit your regular size gift card. You could also put some money in there. You could also, if you wanted to add a twist, put a photo in there, you know, where they, or, a, or another um, little love note or something. Well, not love note if it's a friend, but if you're doing it to someone, you know, you want to send a love note to, then you'll put that in there. A, a tip to for this, too, is to always kind of go over it with your burn folder. It just makes it, seems to be easier to peel. We'll test that theory. But then we just, she usually just comes straight off. So you don't need to grab, you take your tool pick or anything. Just have to have a little bit of a nail and you're good to go. And then this, we'll just line it up with this white piece right here. So simple. And there you go. You've got your gift card holder right there. Beautiful, right? And then we need a space to write. So we have our basic white. Let me just double check this measurement. Should be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. It is. Now, this one, when we're laying it down, before we glue it, we want to make sure it's lined up with this. And this is where you can literally just hold it to line up with that. And then put glue on it. Of course, not where your thumb is. This is where liquid glue comes in handy and then fold it like a book and then you're seeing you've got no double lines there there you go and so if you put this crooked that piece is going to be crooked but it's going to be slightly no one's really going to notice okay the last thing I did was there's some little flowers in the stamp set and so I took some basic white cardstock and stamp them in Daffodil Delight. And I took a big one, 
and two little ones and then I got a blender pen which is one of these not the blends there's stamping blends and there's blender pens Whoop. and when you want to use your um, blender pen grab like a small acrylic block and just take a little bit of ink off there you don't want to put your blender pen into your ink and then you can just pull the ink off that and color in your little flowers like this too easy peasy right you know you can do this with any of your inks you can color anything it's fantastic so you don't need all the color blends if you've got the inks now the blends do have their advantages they have lighter and darker colors and then it builds color and all that kind of stuff just remember when you're done with that the way to clean it off is just to wipe it like this until it runs clean okay then I've used um, some dyes to cut them out I've already used the dyes I'll show you which ones it is these ones here like little stars okay so I've already oh I didn't blend them <laughs> Just colored the wrong ones oops well as you can see it just takes a second and I've got plenty of ink on here so we'll just quickly do this I thought I had colored them but my intent was to show you how to color these with a blend so really quick and easy and then I've grabbed next to put these on some mini dimensionals because it's just easier sometimes when you use the minis which now of course can't find here they are so you stamp them color them cut them out and then I am going to to stick my thumb in the middle and kind of push them up to give them some shape now if you're mailing this um, any I always say when I say mail a card like just turn it inside out and mail it so it's flat so none of the stuff at the front um, we'll hook it but now with these cards that we're putting insides in you may want to put just like a little extra strip of um, of paper or something thin card cardboard to put in there to stop the machine from um, snagging anything when you send it out in the mail so just keep that in mind okay and then we'll put these just randomly on here a little mini right there whoops and it came off in my hand they are tiny and put one there one more and this will be card two done again everything's going to come there's no adhesive in this kit there is these images are obviously not going to be stamped in there so you will have to stamp your own images or I mean if you already have a flower set if you're not grabbing this set you, you can use what you have as well and then I grabbed the iridescent foils gems and put little stars in there and that is card number two okay with your gift card holder okay number three here we come doing good timing hopefully I'm not going too slow now this one just uses that fabulous DSP that comes in this suite and if you don't have the DSP you couldn't make a lemon but you could make an orange if you just wanting if you have the stamp set you could use this one um, and it, it'll look just as pretty just color it with whatever you have watercolor pencils some blends um, the technique I just used there with the blender pen sorry my mouth is dry <laughs> okay so you'll get all these bits now I'm not fussy cutting it for you <laughs> it will be roughly cut out of the paper for you um, but not fussy cut <laughs> that is on you <laughs> like no okay so we're using our thick basic white cardstock as our base and this is just our standard five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter 
And I love the ease of this card. Seriously, it's easy. We like easy, right? So this is a five and a quarter by four piece. And we're just going to layer this down. That's what's on the back. All your citrus. And they're all like different size citrus. But this, there's one that actually coordinates with the dyes. Okay, and that's the oranges. The lemons do not coordinate. Then we've used a piece of Knight of Navy, and I've embossed that with the Eyelet 3D embossing folder. It's really cute. And this piece of Knight of Navy is four inches by two inches. And we just quickly layer that down. And about there, looks good. Then, I've taken a stylish shapes square, turned it into a diamond, and it is the third smallest square in that set that I've used. Basic white cardstock, and then we get all the love, which I think is just a really cute sentiment. That's like me sending you all the love. And we're just going to stamp that across the middle in Night of Navy. And then we're going to get our cute little patterned stamp again in our Daffodil Delight. And just stamp that across the top and across the bottom. Cute. Okay, then the hard part is fussy cutting out your piece of lemon, and it's really not that hard, <laughs> so you'll be good to go. I did use dimensionals on this one, so we're going to put some, I like to go four corners on here, and then we're also using dimensionals on here, and just about four of them. There we go. That should be fine. Too easy, right? So you want to kind of just look at where you want to lay it. You want to make sure that it's all, that there's no pieces hanging off the card. So that's why we're kind of like moving it around now. So we can go, okay, this will work here because we don't want to be covering up the sentiment that we just stamped. And We'll put that on and then this one now like I said if you don't have the paper but you do have the stamp you could just use a stamp here too and boom all the love a little bit of bling of course we got to add some bling and throw some up here it just brings it up another level, I think. Do we have any bling lovers on here? I love my bling, for real. Okay, oh, that one, the glue didn't come off. Sometimes that happens. Don't throw it away. Number one, if, the, if you're taking one off and the glue dot is still stuck there, put it back on top and then try again to peel the whole thing off. And if that doesn't work, just take a smidge of your glue and pop it down on your paper and then put the embellishment on top and that'll stick it there. Then we have a little bit of inside that we're doing. And on this one, oh, we're going to pretend I've got two of these bits of paper because apparently I didn't cut a second one. So um, you can see I've put one here because I kind of wanted to open like it's flowing across the whole um, page. Okay, Then I cut out this second bit, which you'll get this in your kit as well. And I did put this flat, um, although you could pop it up as well. You know what, let's pop this one up just to see what it would look like. Now, these are probably going to make your cards heavier, so I do suggest weighing before mailing, um, because it could, obviously, you don't want it being returned, return mail, return to sender. Okay, and we'll just pop this this way. And then this one little piece is, I believe it's uh, it's four inches by three quarters of an inch for that one. And it was some just trim I had left over 
from cutting paper. Um, so just cut two of them and then you can put it across. And like I said, if I was redoing this again, I would even take another thin piece of this Knight of Navy, um, like probably a half the size of what we've got here, with it embossed and run it through here as well and just kind of making a whole nother card on the inside of the card. So now, of course, you can stop at just the front. You don't have to do the inside if you don't want. I just decided this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so that is card number three. Too easy, right? Down to card number four. And this is so simple, and yeah, I just absolutely love it. Um, I love the colors of this card, and I just I love the sentiment. I just love everything. I love the simplicity, too. Simple is good sometimes. Okay, so we've got our basic white thick card stock, eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. Whoop, just shook the desk. Actually, I should have a new desk with a new location, but it's probably going to take me a little bit. Oh, I cut this one wrong. We're just going to pretend it's right. <laughs> okay, so if you ever do this, you make it like you're cutting stuff. And I remembered I, I cut it to five and a quarter because I'm so used to cutting DSP layers five and a quarter by four. But I wanted this five and a half to go all the way across by, um, let's see, what did we do? By two and seven eighths. Um, no one is going to know that that's supposed to go all the way across. So we're just going to go forward with it like this is how this card's meant to be, okay? Don't. Don't throw your paper out. Don't worry, when I when I cut your guys' kits, I'll make sure that the, everything's correct. <laughs> but, um, and if anything's ever not correct that I send to you, please do let me know. Um, I would definitely fix that. Okay. We're just going to pretend that's exactly how we planned for this card to go. No one's going to be the wiser, okay? I've used this Stylish Shapes. Again, I love Stylish Shapes just because of the versatility of it. And um, so many sentiments fit on it. It's just a great die set to have. If you don't have it, I, I recommend it for sure. And again, I'm sticking to the sentiments in the stamp set. But you could use any that you have here. And this, excuse me, this one stick all the way to the left. I've got the hiccups. Okay. Then... This is actually die cut from the paper. Do I have the paper? I don't even know where I put it yesterday. Here it is. So this pack, and it's right here. And the dies, I'll literally just gonna show you real quick. You've got this die here. And I've got the wrong paper. No, this is the right paper. This is the right one. So this goes like that. Oh, make sure you guys can see this. And then this one, just look at the stem, will go like that. So you can just run that through and boom. A lot easier than fussy cutting, trust me. <laughs> but um, I love how they do that. Oh, and here's another little thing too. Just in case you're not aware, they have all these little yellow flowers on here. Guess what? These dies coordinate with these flowers. So you can cut out all these little flowers. And they are on the lemon sheet as well. So you can die cut all of them. Or you can fussy cut them. Whatever's easiest. Whatever you find easiest to do. Some people love to fussy cut. They'll just sit there and and, and do it and relax and watch TV and they'll be good to go. Okay. Now I am going to um, glue this flat and just put it to the left. Then we're going to do the three oranges dimensionals. We'll just pop about four of them on there. That'll work. Oh, I may have put that too high. I may have made the boo-boo that I was thinking, don't do this. We're going to make sure that this fits without covering it. So if I, I, that's why I had it a little bit lower. 
so make sure it's a little bit lower there then this will fit on whoops I'm gonna put it this way hang on no I'm not I'm gonna put it this way there we go I'm just making sure that it's all gonna go on the paper without covering the sentiment it's probably the hardest little bit there is to try to get that to line up there we go too easy right and then we'll get a cute little linen bow there's my linen thread we'll just do a little double bow and bring that through okay I am I use my little bow maker all the time I just find it so much easier than trying to do it by hand um, so much easier and then stick you at your little mini glue dot and boom on the corner of course a little bit of bling and then we'll quickly do the inside and I did put whoops I put one of these on here in the blue but I realized you can't even really see it so I'm thinking I will put these maybe one here instead I know usually you group them but I'm gonna go there at least you can see this one kind of okay then we're gonna do the inside and again we're gonna mirror what we had going on the outside so this is five and a half by one and eighth this little piece of um, blue right here and we're just going to stick that right there across the middle sorry if you can hear my dog barking like i said i can't shut the door today because i have this big table in the way so she's just barking because a person exists outside or something she'll bark at a car she'll bark at everything i'm surprised she's been so quiet this whole time now this one i've also cut out um with the die cut the little orange and again you don't have to do your middle you could take the extra bits I send you in your kit and make a whole other card with it if you want and just add a little bit of something that you have at your in your craft space as well and then to tie it all to the bottom I did another another piece and these ones I did do five and a half again that's by one and one eighth and just left a little gap there and this way when your person gets your card they're gonna get this you're the best kind of person oh that's so sweet oh and then your heartfelt sentiment right there and boom there you go so those are our four cards let me show you them again from the beginning for our Mediterranean blooms card class and we'll show you the insides as well whoops don't worry about that <laughs> i was doing my nails earlier <laughs> okay i was getting some nail polish off i had some old strips of them okay so this is the hello just checking in grateful for you of course you could put whatever you want in the center there you could not do the center and make a whole new card with the extra bits um you're the best kind of person here with your um your gift card holder or a note or a photo um, you can put whatever you want there all the love lemons and again I would probably put that blue piece there and you're the best kind of person boom oh, I was doing it too high <laughs> oh my goodness um such a dork okay there we go in case let's try that again so you can see the insides so they're not super high and there's the grateful for you and the inside with the gift card holder so guys I hope you liked today's class and um, like I said all the measurements I've given verbally if you want a PDF tutorial um, I will uh, have that available as well um, more details to come on that um, you can purchase the PDF tutorial 
or you can get the whole kit for free and um, get the PDF tutorial for free when you use this host code place an order by next oh here's my calendar goodness gracious today is I was like what day is it <laughs> Um, I've lost track of my days and I don't have where is my phone? Oh, I'm on my phone Does anyone know what day it is? Is it the 20 is it the 23rd or the 30th? I think it's the 30th today Yes, right am I wrong someone watching me help help me out <laughs> help me out guys I've totally forgot what day it is um, Brain Hang on, my calendar and everything's in the other room Alexa, what day is it today? It's okay. It's May 30th. Alexa Alexa hooked me up. It is May 30th. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. I like totally forgot. I was like, wait, what week am I in? I've got a lot going on right now. But okay, so this purchase offer is available from May 30th through to um, Tuesday, June 4th. Okay. And if you make an order of um, $35 or more, that gets you the kit absolutely free, shipped to your door. Use that host code. Make an order of $50 or more. That's both, both of those are before shipping and tax. Get the kit free, shipped to your door. Plus, you get a, um, a pack of these. You get the PDF tutorial with either of those um, orders. And... You usually get an additional card from me and a couple of other little things in there from me. And then your kit um, should ship. If we're looking at the fourth, that I need to make sure I've got everything ordered. Get that in. So I will have it shipped by the 10th of June at the latest. Okay. I will actually aim for the 7th. But um, it depends on how quickly my, my orders can come in. Okay, guys. I hope you love the class and I hope you have a wonderful Thursday and that that carries over onto the weekend too. Take care and thanks for watching.